Now, after Russia, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Austria for the second leg of his two-state visit. The two nations are set to explore ways to further deepen their bilateral relationship as they see closer cooperation on many geopolitical challenges. Now, this is the first visit to the nation by an Indian Prime Minister in 40 years. Indian Prime Minister Modi was welcomed by Austrian Foreign Minister Alexander at the airport. Shortly after landing, he met Austrian Chancellor Karl Nehammer and attended a dinner hosted by the Chancellor. In a social media post, Prime Minister Modi thanked the Chancellor for the warm welcome, saying he looks forward to their discussions. The two leaders will hold talks later today and address business leaders from India and Austria. Narendra Modi will also call on Austrian President Alexander van der Bellen before concluding his visit. The Prime Minister will interact with the Indian diaspora in Vienna. Before heading to the Central European nation, Modi's first stop was in Russia for the 22nd India-Russia summit. During the visit, India and Russia inked nine agreements on trade, climate and research. According to a joint statement, India and Russia agreed to work towards a bilateral settlement system using national currencies. They expanded cooperation in key energy sectors, including nuclear energy, oil refining and petrochemicals. The major thrust of Putin and Modi's talks was on economic engagement and the newly proposed China Vladivostok Eastern Corridor. I beg your pardon, that's Chennai Vladivostok Eastern Corridor. Also, fertilizer supply from Russia to India was a part of the discussions as well. Most significantly, Russia and India have now set a bilateral trade target of $100 billion by 2030. As Prime Minister Narendra Modi concluded his historic visit to Russia, the United States said it will continue to view India as a strategic partner and have robust dialogue with the country. The Pentagon said India and Russia have had a relationship for a very long time and that they will continue to engage with full and frank dialogue with India to conclude its relationship with Russia. Now, this comes after the White House expressed its concerns over Modi's Russia visit, asserting India's relationship with Russia enables it to urge Putin to end the war with Ukraine. India is a strategic partner with whom we engage in full and frank dialogue, including their relationship with Russia. And we've talked about this before. So we think it's critical that all countries, including India, support efforts to, re to realize uh, an enduring and just peace when it comes to Ukraine. It is important for all our allies to realize this. Uh, and so we also believe India's longstanding relationship with Russia gives it the ability to urge the, the president, President Putin, to end his brutal war, an unprovoked war in Ukraine. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Austria. It's a gap uh, of 40 years, uh, essentially in terms of uh, the travel of an Indian Prime Minister to the country. The last time an Indian Prime Minister travelled to the country was in 1983, when the then Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi had travelled to Austria. Now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit has several dimensions. Uh, we know that um, India and Austria have been working together on several fronts. Uh, uh, earlier this year, we know the startup bridge was agreed to. Last year, it was uh, a mobility pact that was signed. We also saw the visit of Indian External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar to the country. But all in all, uh, a significant visit uh, that will see also a community reception and uh, the Indian Prime Minister will be meeting eminent personalities from Austria as well who have been helping uh, bridge uh, the cultural link between India and Austria. With video journalist Neeraj Patel, Siddhant Sibyl for Vion. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.